Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to convert units. So when someone says they need to convert a unit, they're basically changing a unit like five miles into a different way of measuring that unit like kilometers. Or they could ask you to change a rate. So that is converting a unit. And an example of converting a rate would be, well, I have the rate, the speed of five miles per hour, and now I need to know how many um, kilogram, or sorry, kilometers it is per second. So just a different way of measuring distance, speed, uh, volume, length, because in different places in the world, we measure with different units. So it's just a great way for us to talk about how that unit is equivalent to another different way of measuring. Okay, so here's an example, example 13 of converting units. So we have the maximum speed of a cheetah that's 110 kilometers per hour. Now we need to express the speed in meters per second. And the second question is telling us that if we take one kilometer, that's equivalent to 0.62 miles, how can we express the speed of the cheetah in miles per hour now? So we're gonna start with A. And here's the information that's given to us. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, and one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. So that, so that will usually be given to you, or you can look that information up. So again, in A, we want to uh, express this speed in kilometers per hour into meters per second. So we have kilometers per hour, and we want to change it to meters per second. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with the information I know, and that is that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. And I have 110 kilometers right now. If I want to change it into meters, then I need to see what their relationship is. Well, you can first off pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, so if I'm looking at this information, one kilometer equals 1000 meters, and I have my current rate is 110 kilometers equals who knows, I don't know how many meters that is then I can look for patterns. Well, first off, uh, I know that one has to multiply by 110 to get to 110. So to keep that equivalent, I would also do that to this side. So that means that 1,000, let me take out my calculator, 1,000 times 110 would be uh, 110,000, three zeros at the end. So I'm kind of almost there. Okay, so now that means 110 kilometers per hour is equal to 110,000 meters, because we changed the kilometers into meters now, per hour. We still have one more step we have to change it into per second. Well, this is 110,000 meters per one hour. We know that one hour is equal to 36,000 seconds. So since one hour is equal to that many seconds, 3,600 seconds, right? One hour is the same as 3,600 seconds. One hour, we just switched it with 3,600 seconds because those are equivalent. Then in order to kind of just simplify this, I'm gonna put this into my calculator. This slash is like a division. So I'm gonna take 110 
thousand, three zeros, divide that by 3600. And that would be 30.5555. Re uh, simplify that to round that to 30.6. 30.6 meters per second is my answer. So I looked for patterns to see what I can do on both sides to make them equivalent. And then for the time, the hours to seconds, I just replaced the per one hour with per 3600 seconds. Okay, let's take a look at B now. B is asking for something different. They're saying take this information, one kilometer equals 0.62 miles now, miles being different than meters, express the speed of a cheetah in miles per hour. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna write down what we do know. One kilometer equals 0.62 miles. I'm gonna put MI for miles. And we're still looking at the original speed, 110 kilometers. Looks like the only thing we need to change is the kilometers into miles because the hours is staying the same. So we don't know how many miles this is equivalent to. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure out the pattern here. Okay. So what you should have done, well, actually is the same as before. One kilometer times 110 to get to 110. So times 110 over here, you're going to multiply 0.62 by 110. And you would get 68.2. So it's 68.2 miles. So if 110 kilometers per hour would be equal to 68.2 miles per hour. Remember, we didn't have to do anything else further because we kept the hours the same. The previous one, we needed to change the kilometers into meters and then the hours into seconds. That's why we needed this information. But for part B, we're just done. Okay, let's move on to one last example. Example 14. We have a truck driver that traveled 1,325 miles in 25 hours. Let's figure out A, find his speed in miles per hour. So we are not changing miles, it's already in miles, but we do need to change, oh no, we don't have to change any of these units. We're not converting any units. We're just figuring out his unit rate then, right? Because it's same units, miles per hour, except the first rate is given in 25 hours, so you need to figure it out per one hour. So this should be a review problem. Go ahead and pause the video and try it on your own. See if you remember. Okay. So you should have remembered that if it's 1,325 miles per 25 hours, then you're really just dividing this per or uh, fraction bar is the same as division. So we're taking those two numbers, let me move it here so you can see it. I guess we have the numbers up here. 1325 divided by 25. So 53. So this truck driver drove 53 miles per hour. That's it for A. Let's take a look at B. B is taking one mile in equal to 1.6 kilometers, express his speed in kilometers per hour. So uh, you're just changing the miles into kilometers. The hours are gonna stay the same. Go ahead and pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, so we're looking at B. I'm just gonna change to blue. Uh, just like the previous problem, we're gonna take the information we do know, one mile equals 1.6 kilometers. And again, this information will be given to you. You don't have to memorize it. Um, that's what we know. And then we also know that we're starting with 1,000, ooh, yeah, which number should we use here? Should we use the original one or this 53 miles per hour? Hmm. 
you know, we would use this answer, 53 miles per hour, because we want to get to per hour. We, want, we don't want to get to per 25 hours, right? So we do want to use that 53. And that's probably why they made us do that in the first place. because it already has it down to per one hour, per one hour. These two are matching. Okay, so again, we're taking the 53 miles, not the previous 1,325 miles, because that's how far this truck driver travels in 25 hours. We wanna know per one hour. Okay, and then our pattern is we're gonna multiply by 53 to both sides. So the tricky part in that problem was figuring out which number to use. Okay, so then we would take 1.6 and multiply by 53. So we get 84.8. 84.8. So then 53 miles per hour. Oh, I'm sorry, I wrote miles over here again. I should have written kilometers. I got a little confused there. Okay, so 53 miles per hour is the same as 84.8 kilometers per hour. So that is your answer there. When you're changing miles to kilometers, not miles to miles, you are multiplying by the 53 because you want 53 times more miles. So then you're gonna get 53 times more kilometers compared to the 1.6 they gave you. And that's it.